What is up guys, KFC back bringing you our third war recap video. This one's going to be against Fireball, uh, 8666 in our favor. Um, basically two spar specialists on their side. They grabbed all of our Town Hall 8s um, and then basically twoed all of our 9s. Um, and then for us, we barely missed the first one. Mr. Awesome had a good effort uh, to try and put two on the number one. Uh, but we only had one Town Hall 10 this war. That was tread easy. He's still uh, on fire, uh, hitting two and three for triples, um, and then all of the nines and eights got cleaned up. So a fantastic war on our side. Uh, gonna go ahead and look at some of the attacks to feature. I have not watched many of them yet, uh, so I'm just gonna kind of pick ones that had six star wars. So let's go ahead and watch Tread Easy uh, for some of our Town Hall nines that are thinking about going to Town Hall 10 soon. Uh, make sure we watch all those Town Hall 10 triples. And then let's go ahead and watch Todd attack uh, six and seven. Uh, Todd has also just been on absolute fire lately. It's been crazy. Now let's go ahead and grab a Town Hall 8 that had a 6-star war. Uh, let's go ahead and look at Captain Crunk. I hadn't featured him. I featured Rex in, a, in an earlier video. So let's go ahead and watch 25 and 23 from Captain Crunk. Uh, let me just double check to make sure that is Captain Crunk the default. It is not as Twex. All right, so I'll go in there and search that one out. Uh, but let's go ahead and watch... Uh, Tread Easy's attacks first, and then we will work our way down, and that'll be our recap video. So here you can see, uh, Town Hall 10 base does have what looks to be level 2 Inferno Towers, uh, Max Wizard Towers, uh, Town Hall 9 level defenses other than that. So low level air defenses, um, looks like Tread Easy is going to do, be doing a Mass Witch strategy uh, with 4 Earthquakes. So let's, and it looks like an AQ walk as well. So let's go ahead and see how Tread Easy kind of takes his base apart. Big box base, so I know that he is a big fan of Mass Witch when uh, the base calls for it. Looks like he's going to keep his AQ away from what I have to assume is a Hound in the CC. Very nice Earthquake there is going to open up the entire base. Um, does have some wall breakers. Not sure when he's going to use them to go ahead and open up this first wall. There it is. He waits for the wizard tower to go down. Very nice. Oh, it's a golem in the CC. Uh, so his queen is just kind of off, uh, picking off various point defenses. She's never going to encounter um, so many at one time that she's going to probably even need a rage. Uh, so all the witches kind of getting in here, uh, beating up that enemy CC golem. Uh, his king has not even been dropped yet. Gus hasn't dropped his CC, which has looks like 2-1-2 in it, um, with the exception that he has two archers instead of two barbs. Looks like his golems are going to be taking a hard left, and his king looks like it's going right. Um, but a very nice rage spell there. Very nicely placed freeze, uh, getting great value in two Teslas and Inferno Tower. That is just phenomenal. Um, that second rage goes down in the core. I assume the second freeze will go down now here on the back side. There it is, covering once again two Teslas and Inferno Tower and the enemy queen. So just absolutely make short work of this core. And this queen is still all the way up here. Um, she has not needed any help. Uh, no rage is needed. It looks like he did pop her ability at some point. I'm sorry, I missed that. I was focused in on the core. Um, but yeah, just these big box bases, it doesn't... Um, doesn't look like a typical three-star attack, and obviously it's a little bit of a spam and prey tactic, but it's it's effective, and uh, Tread Easy with those 39, 40 heroes just absolutely smashing it. Um, so great job to him. He's been on fire lately, um, bringing home a three-star Town Hall 10. So fantastic, fantastic job. All right, let's go ahead and watch... Uh, Tread, how did that Arch Tower get missed? Uh, let's go ahead and watch Tread Easy's next one on base three. Uh, so this time, he uh, Tread Easy is bringing a Queen Walk Laloon. Uh, so you see, there you see the spell composition down there. Pretty uh, standard for Tread Easy. Two Lightning Bolts, uh, level 7, one Max Earthquake. That's going to take out an air defense for him. Three Rages. Uh, usually one or two of those Rages is used on the, uh, the AQ Walk portion. So let's go ahead and see how Tread Easy takes this one out. Going to start his queen walk down there uh, around 4 o'clock. Going to easily kind of grab that air defense um, that's in there. Not only is he going to grab the air defense, he's also going to grab an air sweeper, um, which is going to be great because that air sweeper is pointed up towards the other two um, air defenses. Uh, triple bolt or double bolt goes down um, 
on the uh, the Inferno Tower. Excuse me, I, I said air defense in my my intro earlier. Uh, because that was a Inferno Tower one, he drops two lightnings on the Inferno Tower one and a Max Quake, and that is going to take that out. Um, so just f always phenomenal value, and also just helps your queen walk because uh, the Inferno Tower obviously on the right side of the base cannot target the queen. Um, Rage goes down there on his Archer Queen, going to keep her up. Uh, through the golem and then the expo and the cannon that is locked onto her. She's going to step up, take out that expo long before the queen locks onto her, so that's great. Um, he does not have, at the moment, um, an ability to take out that enemy archer queen, so I'm curious if possibly it's going to come in range kind of over in this direction. I have not watched these attacks yet, guys. I haven't gotten to the point yet uh, where I'm willing to invest that kind of time, so I'm watching all of these kind of live, uh, and so you're just getting... Uh, my feedback kind of as I go. Looks like he's going to uh, drop three wizards up there on those gold mines, and maybe that's what's going to propel his queen to finally go into the base um, after she takes out. Oh, there she goes. And so finally the enemy queen engages. So he's going to get at the enemy queen. He's going to get that second air defense. And so just tremendous value out of that walk. Um, that archer queen just nailed both air defenses. Uh, the inferno was taken out by the lightning, and now he is going to go ahead and start his loon portion. When he starts his loon portion, I will pause uh, the video just to show you kind of what he has left. Pops his queen ability there. Uh, let's go ahead and stop the uh, video here. Uh, so basically what Tread Easy has at this point is he has three hounds and 20 loons to take out um, basically half the base. So his AQ walk portion uh, got half the base taken out. Um, they are, both of his heroes are still up. Uh, so this is just an absolute massacre. Um, Hounds coming in on the top left. Only one up. Oh, two seeking air mines did take out one hound. Uh, those core Teslas uh, would be super concerning to me, but Tread Easy has dropped eight of his twenty loons, kind of directly into that core. Um, so that's going to easily help take out that that core Tesla area. Um, hound coming in here on the bottom with another twelve or so loons, um, and then he does have a final rage spell, which I assume will be used for these loons here on the back end. There it is, um, and so that's going to take out. The final air defense right there, and all he's got, he's got basically 12 or so loons left, and he's got two Teslas and a wizard tower to worry about. Both of his heroes are in great health at this point, um, so just a just a phenomenal attack, and, and two diff, completely different approaches to take out a Town Hall 10. Uh, so for you guys like Onyx that are kind of preparing to go to Town Hall 10, start locking in these kind of compositions. Um, look at kind of the upgrade order. Lightning should be higher on upgrade priority list than maybe previously we thought. Um, just phenomenal on these low-level Tunnel 10s to be able to take out an Inferno Tower with two bolts and an Earthquake. So great job to Tread Easy uh, for taking out those two Town Hall 10s. All right, let's skip down to Todd, who's been absolutely on fire. He's going to take out Base 6. I remember watching this one uh, on TeamSpeak with Son of Jay. For those of you guys that do not have TeamSpeak yet, please consider getting it. It is a great tool just to socialize, chat, get to know your clan mates, and to plan awesome attacks. Um, so Todd, uh, like we talked about in our second war recap video, he is bringing four healers on this uh, La Luna attack. So a little different than a traditional shattered uh, La Luna approach. Uh, so four healers takes the place of the two golems. Uh, so that gives him the ability to uh, just bring different spells as well. Look at his spell composition down there. Three Rage, Poison, Two Haste, and then a CC Poison. And he is going to start his walk up here at 10 o'clock. Uh, now, his goal was to get these two air defenses here. Um, but he does have to do a little bit of improv because things don't quite go according to plan. Uh, you see those wizards go down to help kind of create the funnel on the right, which is what he was planning. Uh, that cannon goes down. The enemy Archer Queen goes down with a very nice Rage spell. Here's, the, you know, here's where things get a little bit tricky. Let me slow this back down again. Uh, this air defense goes down. That goes according to script. Wizard Tower goes down here. Um, those two hogs go in to kind of take out the Archer Tower. Now, Todd was hoping that that Archer Tower would be down already and that the Queen would have walked kind of around to this barrack and then kind of gotten to the air defense on that side. That does not happen. Um, and so instead, that Queen is going to beat through a wall. A partial CC pulled there with the hogs. And now Todd is basically in full-on... Um, kind of making stuff up as he goes mode. Uh, he drops his second rage spell, which I believe was supposed to be for his air portion. Um, has to drop it on his queen because he has no choice. At the, at the moment, his queen is getting locked onto by two expos and a dragon and two wizards. And he has to just display a tremendous amount of patience here. Uh, he cannot start his air portion uh, before that second air defense goes down. 
Um, heads up play here with this wizard. This wizard obviously has all the protection in the world, um, so he's basically starting his cleanup early, despite the fact that his queen is taking forever to get the second air defense. Um, so we are almost a minute and a half into this raid. Um, he has still not deployed his, his loon portion, but he is not panicking. Uh, skeleton traps pop. Finally, the queen locks onto the air defense, and then you'll notice the second that it goes down, boom, in goes the hounds. Um, two loons there. Doesn't even need to reinforce uh, the loons on the cannon just because he's going to drop a hay spell, um, and everything is going to get propelled counterclockwise in this base. Um, so just a tremendous, tremendous show of patience from Todd. Uh, to make sure that second air defense went down. And like I said, I'm pretty sure that that rage was not for the queen. Um, I'm pretty sure he wanted to use two rage for the air portion. Um, but heads up play, knowing that he needed it once those two expos locked on. He's even going to, after all this, he's even going to have a, um, a lava hound that doesn't even pop. Um, he's got plenty of balloons left um, at this point. Um, I remember being on TeamSpeak uh, with Son of Jay, and we were just talking about cleanup at this point. Uh, but he's got two loons and a wizard in the bag. He hasn't even dropped his king yet at this point of the raid. Uh, so despite the fact that the, the first part of the raid took so much time, um, he easily just drops his king over here at 3 o'clock for cleanup. And then he drops two loons up here um, at the barrack uh, to clean up as well. And so he has a very efficient cleanup process. He's got a wizard down there on the builder hut. Um, just, just great attack. Probably my favorite attack from the war. Um, just kind of having that, that skill to know, um, how to recover from a, from a failed plan. Uh, so really good job by Todd, uh, on that base. All right. So we're halfway there. We're going to watch Todd attack base seven, and then we're going to watch some town hall eights. And then we're going to call this our third recap video. Uh, so this base, uh, not as good as the one that he just attacked, I'm um, gonna bring, but a, gonna bring a completely different composition here. Uh, gonna bring a looks like a shattered Go Vaho with an AQ walk at some point. Um, is interesting because the CC pull looks like it is rel relatively straightforward. Um, this is a cleanup attack, I believe. Uh, so we're gonna see if uh, there is maybe a dragon in that CC or excuse me, a hound because I would assume that there's no dragon in it. Otherwise, he might have double poisoned. Um, it is also possible that because he's AQ walking, he knows he's not going to double poison because he's going to let his queen take care of it. Uh, let's go ahead and see which one of those options it is. Uh, nice heads up play up here, making sure he gets the single bomb tripped. Um, knows that he's going to deploy his hogs over on that side, so that was great. Um, queen stepping up, taking out that archer tower. I assume the CC is going to come out any second now. There it comes. All right, so it is a dragon. He is going to get that poison down. Um, so no need for a double poison there. Um, I assume that the earthquake will kind of go down kind of in this core area um, just to sh soften up the town hall, the expos, you know, take out a bunch of, um, and, the, and the clan castle, just take out a bunch of percentage of those buildings so that when the king and the Valks get in there, they burn through it even faster. Um, here come the king, here come the Valks, and they are going to make very, very short work of this queen, and he's got the perfect jump spell. It's going to open them right. They have nowhere to go but the core. Uh, the king does, unfortunately, jump out in front of the golems. Um, and I assume the Earthquake's going to go down right around now. Oh, no, that's a heal spell and a rage spell. So they're going to burn through this core, uh, even without the help of the Earthquake, which could have gone down there. Um, that wizard kind of cleaned a bunch of stuff up on the outside. Uh, single bomb goes off there, so very nice, kind of just dropping one hog, making sure that um, he doesn't have to burn an early heal. Um, does still have a heal in the bag. He's got a lot of interesting stuff going on here. Um, hogs are kind of working their way um, clockwise around the base. He's got more hogs now down here. Uh, going counterclockwise, so he's kind of doing a going both directions with his hogs, but once again, still no need for a heal. I might assume that he's going to drop it there on those Valks. Very nice. Um, gets them as they, I believe they are in that heal as they beat through that wall. Um, hogs around the outside, easily just picking off defenses. Um, just just a, a really good attack. Um, really good attack by Todd. Uh, very interesting. Uh, did swag the earthquake. Um, definitely a high value core. I think he brought it for the core. Maybe just forgot it. Um, but is going to go ahead and easily kind of clean up this base with uh, 30 seconds to spare. Uh, let's go ahead and fast forward that. And that's going to be all she wrote. So just great attack by Todd. Back to back six star wars on really, really high level bases as well. Um, has a level 29 queen and a 25 king. So just absolutely killing it. Uh, good job, Todd. All right, let's watch some Town Hall 8 action. Let's watch the one that I know that I already have access to. Uh, so Captain Crunk going ahead and taking out 25. Uh, not an easy base by any stretch. Um, got some interesting things going on here. Um, kind of got 
uh, kind of a bad double spot here. Uh, I would assume that there's another double spot kind of over here. Um, kind of Tesla's probably around the town hall. So lots of interesting things here. Uh, let's go ahead and see how Captain Crunk takes it out. Obviously going to be some sort of a shattered go-ho here, um, but not bringing the four earthquake spells that you might see someone like Rex bring. Uh, so let's go ahead and watch this. Uh, going to go ahead and grab the, the lure there with one hog. Beautiful value. Uh, it's going to double poison. I'll kind of fast forward through that. And then let's go ahead and see where he starts his shattered hog. So he's going to start his shattered portion kind of up here. Uh, Tesla pops there, so that's going to be great value. Um, gets a nice spread of his wizards. Drops a wall breaker there, test wall breaker, and then two more to open it up. Um, what made that really great was that that wall segment um, allowed him to get into both compartments, and he dropped his stuff perfectly. Um, so, oh, dropped a P.E.K.K.A. out of the CC. That does not look like a max uh, Big Daddy P.E.K.K.A., uh, so we might have to find... I'm going to have to put um, P.E.K.K.A. 5 in the ha in the, bah, um, the laboratory um, so that you don't have to bring P.E.K.K.A. 4s with you. Um, but here we go. looks like Hog's coming around uh, counterclockwise here. I'm um, going to go ahead and start dropping these heels right now. So it looks like he's going to trip these bombs one at a time. So that was just a perfect uh, way to make sure. Oh, there's not even a double there. Um, so no worries. Um, so tremendous value for the first heal look at that by the time that his hogs are out of the first heal there are only one two three four five six defenses left and only two of the only three of them the tesla and the two arch towers um actually even hurt his hogs so this was just a tremendous um attack by captain crunk um great value for his kill squad it looks like king is still up um there's the double there protected by a, a clan castle i don't know where our opponents come up with this stuff some of the time um, so it looks like the longest part of this attack is actually going to be the cleanup portion of it. Um, do have corner huts kind of down here at 6 and 9, uh, but no archers to kind of take those out. Uh, so he's going to have to speed up. Uh, drops a swag heel kind of over near 3 o'clock. Definitely got a, definitely a huge misplay. Got to drop that on your level 10 king there so he doesn't have to recover. Um, but in all honesty, uh, looks like he did bring some archers, but for some reason those did not go on the corner huts. Oh, he only brought one archer. Um, but yeah, good attack by Captain Crunk. Uh, just watch those, those corner builder huts. You wouldn't want to be caught by that. So let's go search out Captain Crunk's second attack, right? Oh, it's right at the top. Beautiful. Uh, so this one on 23, obviously the base had already been three starred. Uh, so he knew where everything was going to be, uh, bringing basically the same composition, uh, that he just brought. Uh, but there are still four corner builder huts. So once again, just kind of keep that in mind. You bring in nine wizards. I'm sure you can get away with eight, um, to make sure that those corner huts go down. Uh, gonna drop one hog, grab the lure, double poison. I will fast forward through that. And then let's see where he starts his shattered portion. I'm gonna start a shattered portion from the right side. Uh, goes ahead and drops six, uh, excuse me, seven of his nine wizards. Um, so he has two for cleanup. Uh, once again, make sure you bring uh, archers for those corner builder huts. You never ever want to lose that way. Um, very nice wall breaker game though, uh, opening up all the sections. There goes the king. He's over there taking out uh, the builder hut that could have been taken out by an archer. Um, so just one of those kind of scary moments there. Uh, looks like he's going to recover well from it though. He's knocked out a nice portion of the base so far. Mini Asian wall-ish in come the hogs. Um, easily takes out the first layer of defenses, and then I assume we're going to see a heal right here. Boom, there it is. Beautifully placed heal. Look at that. Both of his hogs standing at the front of the defenses. Um, tremendous, tremendous heal drop there. I'm going to kind of let this hog, these hogs over here kind of, uh, kind of fizzle out, uh, but that's completely okay. Drops his second heal spell there. Um, once again, tremendous, tremendous value uh, from that heal as well, kind of covering all the defenses. And then finally drops his third heal, uh, another tremendous value. His hogs were in heals the in absolute entire time. Uh, no issues whatsoever. He's still got a P.E.K.K.A. up. He's got his king up, uh, pops his king's ability, uh, just absolutely wrecks the base. And once again, you're going to see that the longest portion of this attack is in fact going to come from the cleanup because uh, there are huts all over the place um, that he's got to kind of get to. Um, so just really, really good job by Captain Crunk. Just wash those corner huts. Uh, you don't need nine wizards. You can bring eight. I believe in your abilities to do it with eight wizards. So that's all I got for you guys. Little Town Hall 10, 9, and 8 action um, in this war against Fireball. Uh, current war does look like it'll be a good one against Venezuela Farm. Got some nice anti-3 bases um, on the other side. So really looking forward to recapping this war. Um, let's make sure that we're, we're planning kind of appropriately. And we will uh, 
hopefully come back with another victory uh, here tomorrow. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comment section uh, what else you'd like to see in these war recap videos, um, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.